Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome to Iowa Live, everybody. Lou here inside of a Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity home. We're here with Dan Warfel. He's the Director of Family Services because this is a very special time of the year. Yeah, it certainly is, Lou. This is when we're taking uh, applications for our homeownership program. First time in 2022 through the month of February. All right, so what is all involved uh, in applying to become a homeowner with the Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity? So the first steps in, in applying for the homeownership program, there are a couple different ways you can do it. We have an option online. Um, you can also apply in person or uh, by mail. Um, fill out a pre-screening form with Habitat. It's a single page document, and then we're gonna ask you to bring in a couple things. So some pay statements, uh, a money order, an ID, and that's how you get started. Right, now you said you can either fill out an application online or uh, come in, and are we talking about coming into the Euclid store area? That's it, so Euclid, the Euclid Restore has a section attached to it, that's our, um, our office where all of our admin and homeownership team are. So um, you can walk right into that side of the building and, and get an application filled out. All right, Dan, and the people that apply to become homeowners through Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity, uh, is everybody accepted or are there certain restrictions that apply? So Habitat does have some income, re income requirements. We have some underwriting um, requirements as you know, some typical banks do. Obviously ours are for the Habitat program, so they're meant for the people that we serve. But yeah, we have some specific income and underwriting requirements that are determined with this pre-screening stage. Right, now there might be a situation where somebody comes in, they apply and they're not able to qualify yes. to be part of the program, but you have another program that's in place now that can help them down the road. Yeah, so we have this with this, this program in place that we've had for a little while where we didn't wanna leave people hanging if they were um, initially ineligible for the Habitat program. So what we can do is is have people follow up with us. We, we give folks information to set up a counseling appointment with one of our staff counselors, and then they can address the reasons why their application wasn't ready yet. And so our staff counselors will work with folks to address those reasons on their application, set up an action plan, empower our applicants to you know, take the next step and take action on those things, and then maybe reapply to the homeownership program. So you'll walk them through step exactly. by step to give them the ability to become homeowners. And that's all what, what this is all about. This is affordable home ownership, isn't it? You got it. Yep, that's exactly right. it. Also want to talk a little bit about the, the house that we're in right now. This is a very special home and very popular, we might add. Yeah, yeah, this is our new ranch plan. So um, 1,158 square feet standard. It's built for accessibility. So we recognize that, you know, we get families of all types, applicants of all types. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we had a plan that could address people that, that might need um, accessibility accommodations. This plan has a 36 inch front rear, uh, front and rear door. Um, the bedroom behind us here has a 36 inch door with a 36 inch door on the attached bathroom. So if somebody needed to, they could live entirely on this first floor and, and not need anything else. Wow, that, that is really uh, accommodating, as they would say, because, and that's the whole idea, isn't it? It is, yeah. We want to make sure that you know, folks who apply to Habitat have comfortable options for their homeownership. Now, what about the plans in general when somebody comes into a home like this? Does the homeowner have the ability to tweak things a little bit? So in this very room, actually, we can take a look at some of the things that homeowners can choose. So this countertop is an option that the, the future homeowner of this house has chosen. Okay. Um, the color of these appliances are something the homeowner has chosen. You also see the carpet and flooring in the in the bathroom and mudroom are, are things that the homeowner has chosen or home buyer has chosen. And this program really has been successful and very gratifying for Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity, hasn't it? Oh, we, I, mean, I think that we all enjoy our work. I, I, I don't know, I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody in Habitat that doesn't enjoy what we do. And on top of that, I think we try to do the best that we can to make sure that families have options, they feel welcome in Habitat, and that they um, get the satisfaction they're looking for out of our homeownership program. All right, and it's a, such a gratifying feeling too to have a, a home ownership as part of your pride. And that's what this is all about too, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, I, I walked a family through this house, this very house the other day, and they saw it the first time with their kids just last Thursday evening. And one of the things they were super impressed with was our, let's see, one of these. We've got these soft closed drawers. Oh. <laughs> and so the kids were going nuts over the soft closed drawers. And um, you know the parents are really happy because you know the doors can't be slammed and stuff like that. But it's just one of those things where people walk in for the first time and they're like, wow, this is really gonna be mine. This is really something that I'm, I'm gonna be able to do here. 
All right. So we want to give people the ability to get into a home of their own. And now is the time to apply. Run everybody through the procedure one more time. Sure, sure. So you can visit our, our website, gdmhabitat.org backslash apply mm -hmm. and fill out an online application, upload your documentation there. You can come into the office and fill out an application with the assistance of one of our staff members uh, and submit your documentation. Um, you can also print out an application online and mail it to us. Oh, there you go. So a bunch of different options and try to get the ball rolling and get things started so you could possibly be a homeowner. Definitely. And with some help from the Greater Boyne Habitat for Humanity. We hope so. Thank you so much.